We are all one in Christ. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. God used Paul and his wisdom to let people who follow Christ to understand all perspectives about law and grace. God began with a promise to Abraham and he kept through it by giving him Isaac when he was 100. God continued his covenant with Moses and gave him the law for people to understand when they went wrong. The law became a source of protection and guarded them from going against God. However, when Christ came as a key source of being right with God through faith in Jesus, law didn't find any need. The law was our guardian until Christ came. It protected us until we could be made right with God through faith. And now that the way of faith has come, we no longer need the law as our guardian. Therefore, anyone who professed their faith in the Lord Jesus has the right to become heirs of God. In Christ Jesus, now there is no discrimination in terms of race, ethnicity, language, and any such perspective. We've all become one in Jesus. The question is, Jesus has no trouble accepting all of us, but we have trouble accepting people from all backgrounds. Some churches practice terrible discrimination based on caste and race. Such judgment is an indication of an unpleasant heart. People who practice difference have not known Jesus as Lord. What do we do? Do we have trouble accepting people from various backgrounds? Let us examine. We are all one in Christ. Amen.